Alright, just got a permission here. Glenn had checked it out before, it said it was brick and pottery. That's all fine. Talked to the farmer, he says, go ahead. That was the Glenn's walk from the truck to here. here. Second, second hole, right? If you dug a piece of pipe, copper pipe. Yeah. He's got a greenie there. You might be able to find something on that one. She's, she's pretty crusty. Is she? Yeah, like. Get off. Hey, we got a date, 1801. We ain't picked it too much, but it's a great bust. And then at the same time, Tom went back to his 70 something. He's got a piece of silver chain there. Keep going. Uh, right. Moved down a couple of sites, and we found some buttons at that first one we was at. Not much anywhere else. Come to an old faithful site. Found a couple of Rod Glenn and Tom found a couple of buttons and then Glenn just got a, what was it, 77 signal? 72. 72, whoa. And then look what this bastard pulls out. He's got himself a half real, just barely sitting under the ground surface. Uh, let me see, where's the date there? Read by my thumbnail. You can read one, seven, eight, possibly another seven. I can actually see it better on the phone. Old Carlos giving up some silver out of this site. We found a lot of a lot of largies. Have you ever found silver here before? Uh, seated Liberty Quarter, 1876. I'll set right there, and I think there was one at the bottom because there's pottery all the way to the road. Brick pottery. She just keeps on giving. Keeps on giving. So let's keep on. All right. Just been a couple minutes since Glenn found that thing. I walked up the hill here. 77, 78. Nice repeatable signal. Don't even need to pinpoint her for it. I just gotta find it in the camera here. Where is it? Oh, right there. Squash flat thimble. But it looks silver. Fancy. What'd it ring up at? 77, 78. Hold on, let me do a little cleaner here. 78? I don't know. Alright. I don't find no sterling markings or anything on it. It was ringing up about 78. Pretty fancy. Hard to tell the weight, it's full of dirt. Feels like it's got some weight to it. That might be that might be uh, silver. If it is, it's first for me. Keep digging. I uh, I just played her a little bit. It's straightening right. I was bending too easy to be silver, and it's really light. But as I go to get up, right next to my metal detector, not one, but two four-leaf clovers. I found a horseshoe with the last sight. Maybe my luck's about to change. Okay, here's one you ain't gonna believe. This old house over here was a doctor back in the 1800s. We've detected this yard before, multiple times. Right behind me here in these, these uh, Japanese knotweed was an academy. Well here there's a burn place that they burn trash. I'm assuming from the doctor's office, because there's a lot of bottles in here pieces of bottle and I bent over to pick up this brown bottle and I seen something. I'll, see, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you look for a second see if you can see what it is. You see it? You see it? There's <laughs> somebody's partial denture with a gold loop on the end. <laughs> That's a first for me. I've seen other people find them on the beach and stuff. And then there's a little button here, a little porcelain button with a, it's a brass loop on the back. I'm going to poke around here a little more. Keep digging. Okay. I had a, yeah, I don't know, 5763 signal. Thought it was probably going to be a pull tab or something. Dug it up right in the edge of this flower garden here. Right in the bottom of the plug. Let me get you. Wait till you see what I got. Gold off this plate. Check this out. Gold with an 
emerald stone. Oh, man. I ain't even touched it. It's right where it was, right in the bottom of the plug. Dwayne's shaking. Look at him. Look at that. That's gold. Maybe not. I guess it's plated. Ah. Look at that, though. You find shit like that every day. That, that's not emerald. That's that uh, moss agate. Yeah, that's a moss agate. That's the way it is. It's mm -hmm. clear with the green ag. With the, it looks like moss and the stone. You sure you want to enter your teeth? Let me let me get this cleaned up. Okay, I got it cleaned up. I yeah. thought it was jade. It's like a moss agate, I think is what they call that. It's like a clear stone. That green oh, is right. inside right. the stone. I'm thinking the gold is just plated because I do see a little green around the bottom. I don't know. I'll have to clean it up more when I get home. But it's a great find. Alright, here's the best stuff from the day. One, two, three, four, five. It's a porcelain button. Six. That's a porcelain button. 1915 dog tag. Brass buckle, toe tap. It's an aluminum. You be quiet, Chevy. Aluminum uh, thimble. It's a piece of a brooch or something. Partial denture with the gold retaining loop. And this here, moss agate. That's not even focused. There you go. And I was just cleaning it up a little bit. It popped out of the frame. I can't get it back in yet. But I know the braid part is plated, but the other part might be pure gold. I can't tell. I can't see no green on it. But that was the uh, best for me for today. I didn't get a shot of everybody else's. Glenn found a bunch of buttons. Each found a bunch of buttons. Glenn found that, whatever that large set was, was it a 1901? Great bust. I didn't see it cleaned up yet. But, best of the best. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.